Well hello there everyone, welcome to the Train Sim World video here on the channel. My name is Northern Princess. Today we're on Hauptstrecke Rheinro, HHR, -H -H -R, sorry. Uh, and we're doing, I'm opening the doors on the wrong side. Let's open the doors on the left. And we're doing an S1 run between Duisburg and Bochum. So I'm going to quickly turn the, the, the train on, as they say. Set my reverser to forward, my headlights to actually my markers, and then we should be good to go. Oh, no, one thing I've forgotten is the destinations. So I'm going to show, I'm showing, looking at a mod today. So it's FIS, Route Ein, Verb, and then I believe this is the Solingen bound S ones. I'm never too sure though. Wuppertal, nope, S3, S1 service to Essen, S1 service to Solingen. So we've got about nine seconds, so I, actually I was doing the three cam, why not? So this is the mod I'm showing off today, so this is on the reskins for the, uh, that's available. I got this from um, trainsim.de. This is actually really cool in my opinion. So you can see, um, obviously it's a, it's a 422, but this is the livery they're apparently currently running. And all the markings on the sides are actually things along the route, which I just find really cool. So I'm going to get the doors locked. Yeah, we're at 20 seconds light, oopsie. Don't expect massive amounts of timeliness on this service, purely because... Let's see if I... I'm just going to take a step forward power just to get us moving. And now for PZB. Now PZB we're gonna be limited to 45 kph in a strictly manual. I usually bring the train to a coast from about uh, 40. However, I should be able to acknowledge here and get out of it. There we go. Yeah, PZB release. There's the first sea for alert of the day. So I've been trying to teach myself to drive um, the German trains. And this is sort of one of my tests to prove to myself that I can do it before I go and record route loading video. The German stuff traditionally, I've just been too scared to try and drive. But, uh, you know, I always wanted to try and teach myself and... One of the things lockdown has been good for is me teaching myself to drive dragons. <laughs> go notch 10. Get her going. So yeah, important note, this thing is limited to 140, so you can't go any faster than 80 miles an hour. Even though I think the fastest line speed on the route's 160. Although I'm not sure it's it on the S1 route, because I think the the 160 line speed is between um, yeah, is on the north loop. And it's only taken by the RB services and the freight services. It's just a glorious drive. I've got to say, um, I might be slightly biased, but this is my favourite of the German routes for trains in world. I think it's just the most varied because you, you start off in a city, you very quickly get out into the countryside, then you go through some industrial areas, then you're back out into the countryside going through small villages. It just feels like, you know, just a nice varied journey, I guess. Don't need to acknowledge that. No. <laughs> I hate acknowledge because I got panicked by the mile mark marker on the, on the left.
I'm a bit slow again. So we're approaching uh, Muheim Stirum. Or Stirum. I'm not. I'm not sure how to pronounce. It. I'm, I'm assuming Stirum. One of the other things I really enjoy about this room, actually, was I'm just going to eat my blinds a bit because I'm hearing noise from them. And I'm also kicking a can because, you know, why not? Um, yeah, it's, it is just a really nice drive and it feels quite small, which I like as well. Because for me, one of the barriers towards doing long written train sims, it feels like I'm going to be there for ages and I'm going to be there for like three hours. Well, actually, that's not the case. However, I do need a nice little screenshot. For the thumbnail. And that does look glorious. Yes, um, hopefully we've got some, uh, well, the next DLC should be coming along soon for well, the uh, the BR204. It's at the end, then at the 20th that comes out, which is like 10 days ish from now. Which I'm not sure, yeah. I have my concerns about it, but we'll see. Going to Mulheim at Austbahnhof. Ostbahnhof, which is the main station, for those of you who didn't know that fact, because train trivia with that is amazing, smiley face. So that was me hitting the, yeah I know this is a 120k limit in, in a kilometre. I can still get up to 140 if I have to break it down for that. So yeah, these things are pretty rapid off the blocks. Ah, I've been 2000 hertz. Oh well. That went badly. Probably going through it too fast. I think I thought it was 2000 hertz. Says. That's the first time I've had it at 2000 hertz. Interesting. It says 2000 hertz down there, 1000 hertz down. Up to speed we go. See, so yeah, Mulheim Ruhr is our next stop. Stops today. Mulheim Ruhr, Ausbahnhof, Essen Fronhausen, Essen West, Essen, Essen Steel, Essen Steel Ost, Essen Eiberg, Wattenscheid Hontrop, Bockham Ehrenfeld, and finally Bockham. So, yeah, about, 30, about 25 ish minutes left. So it's not a particularly long journey, but it's, 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 it's a nice one in my opinion. I absolutely love the double stocks. This thing does stop quite rapidly, and these are quite long platforms. So yeah, you've got, it's, it's just a series of beeps in this train as to what safety systems getting your attention. I'm not doing well at stopping it. Not much trouble, I'll say. There are trains I'm better at. But it's n you'll be pleased to know it wouldn't be this train I'd be doing the route learning with, so, yeah. I've been indulging in quite a few mods lately. 
just because I really, you know, I've, I've enjoyed the vanilla game, but now I want to take it up a gear and, you know, this is still obviously a DB service, but it just it completely changes the feel of the train. You know, re repainting it into a bright green, which is so garish it can only be German. Let's lock the doors. Notch one a break. Notch zero. And let's take our Essen Fraunhausen next. So Essen Fraunhausen, I absolutely love that name of a station. And the fact that it's on Onkenstrasse is just even better. Just, I know Onken, I think, is Onken's something to do with milk, right? Question mark? Help me here, uh, help me out here, guys. But it just, yeah, just onk, onk, onk. It just feels nice when this thing's at speed. So yeah, I do agree. I, th I think you know some of the feedback I heard on the sounds was running sounds are a bit lackluster on this. Which yeah, I mean, I can sort of agree to that. But yeah. Essen Fraunhausen, 3.6k. You see, doing drafts like this, though, I can actually, I'm looking at 3.1k, so it's about on mark for that. Is the, the, the 120 limits pretty much coming into Essen Fraunhausen station, or coming out of it. So one k that, that's my 1k to go marker, which then actually gives me a really good way to judge my braking. You know, it's, it's stuff like that that this actually does help out with. I'm also hoping to be recording some uh, ARP content for you guys. I finally got to a point that I'm comfortable recording it again. Um, and we've had a few really awesome scenes. And since the V menu upgrade, some things aren't as great. But there's some other stuff that I've really been enjoying um, doing. So um, I'm hoping to bring that out and show off some of my characters for you guys. My finger out for the acknowledge because we're about to see the speed warning. Or maybe we're not, okay. I don't know why I tapped that there, that was my finger being weird. So you've got a number of discoverables for the route. I've got mods in, so they look a lot nicer. <laughs> I want to say I can't. Uh, the um, you know the environment art team at Dovetail are brilliant, but yeah. I mean, one of the ones I've really really liked. I'll show you. Is if I. The um the the route map was just a standard format route map when it came from DTG. Whereas this, someone's actually taken the um, the real VR map, the Verkesbund Arena, and it shows off the services on here. And these are all services that are modelled, which I really like. So it's to Dortmund. Oopsie. Let's go change our destination blind. And you got the Onkenstrasse sign, which I just adore. My internet's being a bit weird. Yeah, so last night, 
I was getting brilliantly smooth stuff in, in Shadow this morning. It's just, uh, I can't cope. S1 Solingen, S1 Dortmund. Okay, let's go. So you can see we're using taking quite a bit of power out the traction motors at this point. Uh, yeah. So the next station, S and West, is just um, we then go on the avoiding line for the S and Depot. One of the unfortunate things about this route is it was it looks as though it was quite rushed. That's how I'm going to answer that question. Um, you know, and the depots are, de are devoid of um, anything in them. Nice little mixed freight going the other way there. Oh, crap. He okay, I wasn't paying attention there. That was my fault. Head over here and risk the parking brake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... There we go, that's the handbrake release. I'm not sure what it flashes after that. As a fire engine goes past, that's the drawback of living on a big street. But yeah, the parking brakes are still a good is still a good strategy as ever for stopping a train in a hurry. I think that's some sort of government building there, which is it's really quite a nice building in my opinion, actually. You know, you look around, yeah, there's some bits you can tell are a little on the rushed side, but yeah, there's our, another S-Bahn going the other way. But yeah, one of the ways you can tell the route's rushed is there's absolutely nothing in the depot. And there's no there's no services that take you in or off depot. That is one of the, the, the drawbacks of this route. But at the same time, eh, I can see it both ways. Okay, you know we're not, we're not too bad at late, all things considered, of my driving style as of late. I have to run in here at speed and then just jam on the brakes basically. This thing does stop remarkably quick, considering the fact that we came down from 70 miles an hour there. And this is obviously Essen Station. Well, one thing I like about Essen is you can truly do train spotting videos here because there's a train in and out for a minute or so through most of the timetable. Yeah, it's a really nice busy station, I guess. Just running around checking the. Um Stuff for discoverables. Okay. Let's close the doors. We've got the RA. Yeah, we'll pretend we had the signal from the guard or something, but yeah, you can close the doors now. And we're going again. Next up is Aston Steel. I'm assuming that has something to do with some steel.
Uh, the other thing I'm actually been doing a lot of like is DCS World, and I'm going to hopefully be bring some videos of that to the channel. I've thoroughly, thoroughly been enjoying uh, the AV8B Harrier. I, I had it during the free trial, and just loved it so much. Um, I ended up buying it actually. Um, I only found out about the free trial after the F18 and the F16 have been through, but the Harrier is just. It, it is my playstyle. So I guess one of the things I like about DCS World is there's just so many, um, you know, different styles you can adopt. You can adopt whatever your playstyle is, um, and you can probably find a tray, a, a plane, sorry, that that works with that. You know, um, slow but moving, you know, deliberate attacks. You know, not much weapons, but if you use them right, you can still destroy half a city. Um, that's the Harrier, you know. Things like learning to do the targeting have been quite good fun as well. Like laser designating a target site. Wait, how do I do that? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. You see, we've got a second camera angle here, and I've taken three screenshots at this angle. And th those three screenshots all are completely different. That's what I love about this route. Is it just, it has such a different feel to it. Again, you can see, it's a little... For, for that, for, I've got to say, again, I know internally how long this route took to release. And for how long it took to make, yeah, it's good. But, like, looking at, there's no bush, you know, it's very just, it looks quite bare. And this is being played on max settings. And this is Aston Steel, which is a big interchange. You'll notice the platforms here have a different numbering. I believe that is because this is a combined bus and rail terminus. And the bus platforms have the appropriate numbers, and the rail platforms don't. Oh no, it'll be, sorry, uh, S-Bahn. Yeah, S-Bahn and... S-Bahn and U-Bahn. That's, well, that's the phrases I'm looking for. Let's have a look around the platforms, see if there's something I can find. I do find using controls here to get back in the cab, you know, when, you're, when you need to be getting the doors shut to depart is convenient. Fire extinguishers are placed, that one, I think. Yep. In fairness, I think I got this station. Okay, we've got the ninety, so I want to acknowledge that. Proceed. We've got a K, 1K to S and Steel Ost. So about a minute and a half light, which for me driving on PZB, that's not bad. No smoking CCTV, first class. No smoking wheelchairs, prams and bikes, CCTV. <laughs> I like it. And this is obviously Essence Steel Arse, which looks a bit different again. You know, it's just... It does feel a lot like, you know, S-Bond Germany, I guess. 
So I guess that's the point. Right, we want to close all doors. Okay, doors are closed. Let's take to the seats. Let's get going. Just full power. Rapidly away. Next up, Essen Iberg. Which, yeah, I'm getting more and more behind. So a lot of the timings in this are quite tight. That's actually feedback I have submitted myself, so, yeah. Too. So yeah, this is giving me sort of a nice practice as to how to drive the train to, to make it hold speed and stuff like that. And then again, a very different feel in that screenshot to all the others. Obviously I didn't take that one, but yeah. I'm a minute light. That is not bad. A minute and five seconds. Ten we are metro would call that on time. Pop back in the cab. Oh, rip. Nope. Shined horn drop. So, yeah, next is White and Shined Horn Trop, followed by Ironfeld, followed by uh, Buckham HBF. So, about five minutes to go. Correction, eight minutes to go. Yeah, as I say, Train Sim World, I just, I thoroughly enjoy it, you know, th sorry about the stuttering guys, it's just my internet connection. Um, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoy it, it's just, I wish there was more, I guess. I spent quite a bit on DLC and got all the German stuff, and I'm not getting quite comfortable with the German stuff. Um, you know, I just, I think for me... Everyone says they wish there was more scenic, local variety. I think for me, I wish there was more scenic variety. Because there's only so many times you can drive from London to Reading and Brighton to Eastbourne and, you know, and, and over the Pennines, which is a route I still actually thoroughly enjoy doing. Um, not, you know, North Trans Pennines. There's only a certain number of times you can drive those before you go, actually, you know what, enough. I need some more scenery. Tease Valley Line, that, that'll never get old. <laughs> nah, joking. Um, so I'm going to go sh food shopping today, I think. Um, and then I'm going to start applying for jobs. always sucks. I'm getting more behind the schedule. How does that work? 
I mean, 10 seconds more, but still. being an idiot. I mean, I should have knocked it into neutral regardless, but yeah. Oh, interesting. Not sure why I'm restricted manual. Oh yeah, because I went into neutral. So I can't go into neutral. Cool. Grrr, you game. And I, that was purely a case of me playing myself. We're just going to have to cruise at 40 for the next 500 metres. Because I can't release the train, basically. If, yeah, it's UK trains for us to throw in the neutral German ones. No. Yeah. Okay. Cruise like this. Oh! Also, it's if you hit 45 kph is when you get brake checked. Something to bear in mind, I guess. I guess I'm doing a really great job demonstrating how not to do PZB. See, I'm going to cover 505 metres before it will release out of restricted manual. Or restricted mode, sorry. Restricted manual is LU stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's a stock. There we go, it released sooner. I, I'm not going to complain, let's go. the tiniest amount of power. I might as well just knock it into off actually. And we're now approaching um, Bockham Ehrenfeld. You can see there's a uh, we're, we're paralleling in it with an RB service. Yeah it looks like a 143 pushing D stocks. A DOS stocks, sorry. It's not D stocks, DOS stocks. That's the actual official family name for the Doppelstock, is D Stocks. And at this point, all the time this is exited out the window. I do, yeah, I do have a reskin, by the way, on the on my Zakins, which makes them VTG Zakins, which I think just looks a bit nicer, bit nicer, bit nicer, a bit cleaner sort of thing.
I'll have you. Let's see what else I can find whilst I'm waiting. Probably a poster in the underpass. There usually is at least one. Route maps. Poster. No, that's as far across as I can go. Nothing further up that end. Oh, hang on. Fire extinguisher spotted. Shrink. There we go. It's all I need. I'm happy. But yeah. VTG Zakens. VTG is like a big um, wagon leasing company. It's just, I just think it looks nicer. It's just a standard Raylian 146 hauling. Is that 186? I can never remember. 85 is our max permitted now. I'm trying to keep 80 in the bag. So, so, yeah. This is actually going to be my, my first, like, proper challenge, like, complicated run completed with CIFA. Um, and the only time I've tripped myself up is when I was driving badly. So I will take that. Yes, so this is the, well, that is my run on Hauptstrecker Ryan Rare on the S1. I would say I love the 422s. One of my favourite trains to drive action trains in the world right now. Because I think it's just because they're very simple. It's forward and backwards. Um, you know, comes off the brakes quick, gets up back on them equally as quick. Accelerates, stops, and it has a digital screen so you don't have to guess what the um, maximum speed you can do is currently. go. That's that service complete. That'd be a silver probably. Yeah. Again though, I will take that. I Yeah, I'll take that in my 13,000 <laughs> well deserved action points. Perfect. Well guys, thank you all so much for watching today. I say hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me on a semi-regular basis. And we shall see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye for now. Down.